So recently, I've been hearing a lot of people talk a lot of mess about my guy, Ronan the Accuser. Now, Ronan isn't the most powerful being to ever exist in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, sure, but he's not the fodder that a lot of people think he is either. So today, I will be breaking down Ronan's strength, speed, durability, and overall badassery to really show just how strong Ronan actually was before, you know, being vaporized by the Power Stone. You will never rule Xander. No. I will cure it! As a Kree, Ronan possesses all of the natural attributes common among his people, such as blue skin coloration, as well as superhuman strength, durability, and speed. However, it appears that his natural abilities are far greater than most of his species, which is likely why he was given the elite status of an accuser. So let's take a closer look at those enhanced abilities. Ronan is a character respected and feared by billions throughout the galaxy, and he could certainly back this notoriety up. The first time we see him in battle, he is able to easily overpower Drax, nearly killing him in the process. Some of his strikes sent Drax flying dozens of feet, and keep in mind this was a very casual Ronin who wasn't even going all out. To put this strength feat into perspective just a bit, Drax is an incredibly durable character, capable of punching other Kree hard enough to crush the Dark Aster walls. He's tanked Rocket Raccoon's ship crashing into him, although this did knock him out. He did not die, and he recovered with no visible damage. And while harnessed to the Guardian ship, he was dragged through space and an entire forest, which he just laughed off. So Ronan's base strength is no joke, and with his Cosmorod, he becomes even more powerful, granting him access to ranged attacks that can fire concussive blasts that snap the other's neck around 180 degrees. He was able to send the entire Guardians team flying backward with a single blast, and he later sends Rocket flying pretty casually. But after being empowered by the Power Stone, Ronan is sent to an entirely different level. During the negotiations with Thanos, Korath states that Thanos is the most powerful being in the universe. But Ronan, being the complete monster he is, rips the Power Stone out of the orb and proclaims, not anymore. This statement seems pretty accurate, as Thanos did not bother to come and get the Power Stone from Ronin, and Nebula herself believed that he could kill Thanos with the Power Stone, and she switched allegiance without a second thought. With the Power Stone merged into his Cosmic Rod, Ronin becomes one of the deadliest characters in the MCU. With the stone, Ronan is stated to be able to completely destroy planets by the Guardians on multiple occasions, and as stated by the Collector, These stones, it seems, can only be brandished by beings of extraordinary strength. Observe. These carriers can use this stone to mow down entire civilizations like wheat in a field. Unfortunately, we only get to see him really use the Power Stone once, but damn it, it's an impressive feat. By merely firing a blast at the Xandar blockade, he is able to cause a chain reaction that completely decimates their forces, allowing his Dark Aster to reach the surface. Now, let's talk about his durability. In his base form, he's a total beast. Ronan holds on to the Power Stone for about 16 seconds straight. We saw previously that a group was only able to share the power of the stone for a moment before all of them were destroyed. When Karina, the Collector's assistant, held the stone, she screamed in agony as the stone destroyed her and everything around her. And when Star-Lord held onto the stone, he began immediately writhing in pain despite being a half-celestial. Even Ego thought that this was an impressive feat for Peter, but Ronan did it without sharing the power. What makes this even more impressive is that Thanos has also held the stone in his bare hands. During the final battle of Avengers Endgame, Thanos grabs the stone to attack Captain Marvel. As soon as Thanos pulls the stone from the gauntlet, he screams in agony as you see the power coursing through just his arm. 
After being amped by the Power Stone, his durability increases exponentially. He tanks a direct shot to the chest from the Hadron Enforcer that Rocket states can blow up moons, and right after this, he's run over by Rocket's ship, which does nothing to him. Ronan even walks off the Dark Aster crash landing, which killed Groot and left the rest of the Guardians broken and bloodied. As for speed, Ronan really only has one impressive showing and one that is not so impressive. So Ronan is able to completely outmaneuver and enrage Drax during their battle, even dodging attacks without looking. Although this was a drunken Drax, so there's no telling if Ronan would be able to embarrass a sober Drax just as easily, but we assume that he could because, I mean, he took out Drax's entire race, essentially, and I'm sure he fought a ton of them hand to hand, so Ronin is a very, very skilled combatant. After landing on Xandar, he doesn't give Rocket a second glance as Rocket tries to rush him, but after his Cosmirod is destroyed, he's unable to grab the Power Stone before Star-Lord despite being right next to it, so it's kind of hard to gauge where Ronin's speed is. His combat speed is very impressive from what we've seen in statements about the character, but not being able to react to the Power Stone being so close to him while Star-Lord was so far away is kind of embarrassing. So all in all, Ronan is very impressive. He's insanely strong, his durability is just off the charts, his speed is pretty good, and of course, he's very, very skilled. But does he have any weaknesses? Well, he's a very impatient character, but his greatest weakness is starry-eyed Star-Lords. He was pretty easily distracted by Peter's sick dance moves, which led to his ultimate demise. As we all know, Ronan was killed by the Power Stone, but you can't really hold that against him. I mean, the Power Stone could kill any character in the Marvel Cinematic Universe pretty easily besides, you know, Dormammu. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Hopefully we get to see more Ronan, maybe in Captain Marvel 2. He did kind of skate right by her in that film, avoiding a fight entirely, but hopefully he gets to fight her hand to hand and we get some more impressive feats for my guy, Ronan the Accuser. But what do you guys think? Do you think he's pretty strong or do you think he's kind of weak? Let me know down in the comments. Also, let me know who you'd like to see covered in the next video. Be sure to follow us on all the social media that you see on screen. Remember to follow the Key Issues podcast on SoundCloud and iTunes. If you would like to support the channel, the best way to do that is to become a member. You can do that by clicking the join button down below. It supports us directly. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Remember the motto, it's comics over everything, and I'll see you guys next time.